what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're going to be doing two more episodes of haikyuu the one and only haikyuu anyways um yeah man i'm not at a hundred percent today and it's not because of anything that's wrong with me personally because of what's been going on in the news if you have not seen my last upload you can go check that out to see what i'm talking about um the killing of another black man by the police and it didn't sit i mean none of it still sits well with me but this one was it was really 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 bothering me i've seen all the ones before but this one it it, it was just at a breaking point you know what i'm saying it was just at a breaking point so i just kind of had to just put it out there you know i've never talked about that stuff before you know i may have you know one off it maybe for a few seconds maybe a minute or so but i've never made an actual video on it and i said let me just put my feelings about this particular situation out there and how i feel about the community on a whole and you know because you guys already know my stance on the channel so of course i'm still going to deliver what i need to deliver for the channel um you know and do these reactions maybe this would cheer me up who knows um but i'm going in with an expectation of watching this and it and enjoying it of course um because at the end of the day after we finish all of this after i finish this i'll go back to that because that's you know what i'm saying life is life life is move on life will move on I just want to see justice for that situation so i'm going to be following that one pretty closely because i want to see if they're really really going to let this guy get off with literally murdering someone in front of everybody like i want to see if this police officer is really going to get off with this i will be following this one pretty closely to see what happens because I mean it's been ridiculous this is the reason why colin kaepernick kneeled and you know they switched the narrative and all this other stuff so let's go watch some haiku we're in the middle of a match um hinata you know needs to learn how to open his eyes and hit the ball uh, eventually learn how to do the quick eventually he'll learn how to do the quick with his eyes open but i think slowly easing him into it is the best way to go by kageyama kageyama is smart enough to do this and i trust him so let's go watch this and i will see you guys for the review uh yes episode 13 and 14 very good very good so we found out about some of the um the top schools um the the, um, the inter high preliminaries is about to start so we have these schools that you know the one that kind of put aside to shame made him not want to play volleyball anymore hopefully we get that rematch um they're in the same um side of the bracket so the um the potential to to play against two of those teams we also gonna play Aoba Josai again um, if I'm remembering that correctly that's the name of this school with that setter that does those jump serves which is absolutely ridiculous out of this world anime shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, I've seen people do jump serve but to hit the ball from that side of the court to the other side of the court and let it sink into the court like that bro that's some power right there but anyways we all know our anime exaggerate stuff that's why we love anime right so this was absolutely incredible man i enjoyed every minute of these two episodes just setting up the preliminaries i like the little moment that we had with the with the uh, manager i can't i don't remember her name she's the manager <laughs> okay um so i love that moment that we had with her revealing the banner that's what she was up to because i was wondering why they were focusing in on her on a couple of scenes that they showed and of course the greatest moment of these two and these <laughs> the greatest moment of these two episodes was her revealing that banner telling them to do their best 
and all the third years i think they're all third years right all the 30 no um yeah noya is yeah noya is is um he's a he's a second year so but they nutted because they all know her. they all knew her the rest you know he not them was wondering what was going on of course but you know all the others that's always fawning over her you know what i'm saying like as i said man approval from a girl in high school is like it, it's 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 like heaven yeah you know i'm saying even if you have a, a girlfriend in high school bro if another girl tells you hey do your best you know what i'm saying i think we're gonna win especially when you're doing sports man that is it's one of the greatest feelings ever and and you know um a lot of people you know even in in real life even in you know i'm talking about even in real life like i'm not talking about real life already um you know even outside of sport even in relationships itself where you know words of affirmation is a thing it is um one of the love languages so it's like it's just you know people don't know how much it means to a guy and and this is the thing that a lot of women don't understand in in today's society not before like back you know in my high school days or you know what I'm saying, like the 90s, like the 2010s to 2020, women has just been like a certain way where it's just like, they don't feel like men need these things because they're all about women empowerment and all this other stuff. And they don't feel like women, men need these things because they think we already run the world. So we don't need to be uplifted. We don't need, we need that, you know, woman in our corner, that partner in our corner. We, we need that. You know what I'm saying? Um, telling us, hey, you can achieve your dreams and stuff like that. Yeah, we have self-motivation most of the time, you know, but we still, if we're in a relationship with a woman, you know, we still need those words of affirmation. We need to know that you believe in what I'm doing, because if you don't tell me that I'm not a mind reader, which is what a lot of women think these days, they think, you know, men are mind readers for some reason. But anyways, that for that match against Nekoma, not Nekata, keep saying Nekata, but it's Nekoma. That f that practice match was pretty cool. They lost, um, but they weren't down because it was a practice match, and they vowed to do their best. They practice, practice, practice. You know, get a couple of matches in. They didn't win any of them, but it was still pretty cool. Um, so. So yeah, man, I can't wait to see their first match. I don't think they're gonna have any problems with this with this team. I think this is I think this first match is going to be a wash for Karasuno. We are Team Karasuno over here. So Terra Squad for Team Karasuno. Hashtag that shit. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all, man. As I said before, I really, really do. Um, thank you guys so much with all the craziness that's going on in the world today. You know, you can't imagine um, that, I mean, the pandemic that's going on and we still dealing with the very same problem that's been going on. It's, it's just so you would think that those things would not be happening during this time, but it's like the world is just going on just as regular. Like, you know, there's not a dangerous virus out here trying to kill us. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. But anyways, thank you guys so much. As always, man, gratitude is never enough. You already know. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers to so join the family. All right. See you guys later. Peace.